Welcome to the Lower Clava Wind Farm Information Video, brought to you by Lower Clava Action Group. In this video, we will provide you with an overview of the proposed wind farm development and outline the location of each of the eight turbines. Let's begin by using Google Maps to pinpoint the location of the eight proposed turbines. Please note the turbine locations are based on the information available to us at the time of making this video. The proposed wind farm development is planned to be situated in the townland of Lower Clava, on the outskirts of Corofin, Belclare, Carlistran and Corndulla. For a local landmark you can see Cashelhackett National School on the northwest of the map and Nohalis Care Dismantlers on the N83 to the east. The eight turbines will be located at these points. Turbine number two is located just 1.2 kilometers away from Cashelhackett National School. New access roads will be required for the construction and service of the turbines. You can see these highlighted here in orange. A new power substation will also be required. This will be located here in the area highlighted in pink and has an approximate footprint of seven acres. The three areas highlighted here in red are special preservation areas which are protected and cannot be developed. This area is known locally as the mountain. Turbine number four is the closest to Nakma woodland and walking area and will send just 3.7 kilometers away from the first viewing area on Nakma Hill. To help you visualize the scale and size of the turbines, we've created a 3D model of the development and overlaid it on Google Maps. This model provides a conceptual view of how the turbines will appear in relation to the surrounding landscape. This is the view from turbine number four, looking north in the direction of Nakma. Now let's take a virtual flight to Nakma and see what the view of the wind farm looks like from there. This is the current view of the landscape when you look south from Nakma. And this is the view of what the landscape will look like should the development go ahead. Let's move a little closer to the local crossroads. This cross is known locally as Carrion's Cross. From here you can still see all eight turbines, despite being on much lower ground. Now let's fly to Cashel Hackett National School, which is only 1.2 kilometers from the nearest turbine. As you can see, from this range, the turbines are gigantic and they really overpower the skyline. Of course, many homes could be situated even closer to the turbines. This one, for example, they will have the turbines standing directly in front of their house. In this case, it's inevitable that at certain times of the year, when the sun is low in the sky, it's going to pass behind the turbines, which in turn will cast an intermittent shadow on this house. This is known as wind farm shadow flicker effect. Take a look at this video posted recently by Radio Kerry. On the outside of this house, we can see the wind farm on a dull day. But take a look at the inside of the house on a bright day. This is a prime example of wind farm or wind turbine shadow flicker effect. 
A shadow can cast up to 10 times an object's height. So in the case of a 185 meter turbine, it can cast a shadow up to 1.85 kilometers. And if your house is within range of the wind farm, you too could find yourself subject to wind farm flicker effect also. Here at Aerovision, we can generate a personal short video that will show you what the wind farm will look like from your home address. All we need to do this is your air code. You can order your personal view by visiting www.aerovision.ie. There is two options to choose from. Option one costs 30 euro and includes the view only from your address or your air code. Option two is 40 euros and that includes the view plus the measurement from your home to the closest wind farm. Help us to preserve our local area by ordering your personal view of what the wind farm will look like from your address. This will enable us to acquire the expertise we need to make a submission to onboard Panola. You may also make a contribution through our I Donate page using the following information. This video was produced for the residents of Curafin, Beltlair, Carlistran and Cordendola areas to help highlight the impact this proposed wind farm will have in our local area. Thank you for watching and please feel free to share the video with any other action groups that may be interested in our services. www.aerovision.ie Thank you.